transcranial direct current stimulation in the neuromodulation of controlling main symptoms of Parkinson's disease, a case study. Parkinson's disease, PD, is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder of the central nervous system that mainly affects the motor system, impairing motor coordination, balance, causing tremors with progressive loss of everyday movement, including walking. Brain neuromodulation therapies, such as transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS, are known to improve symptoms associated with PD. Currently, there are very few studies demonstrating the effects of TDCS on the overall improvement in motor function and quality of life in patients with PD, as well as its antidepressant effects. This study was conducted to verify the effects of TDCS on balance, motor control, and the quality of life in PD patients. Our participant, was a 72-year-old male recruited voluntarily through the supervised clinical practice in neurology at University Novi di Giulio. The participant received three treatments consisting of 10 sessions of 20 minutes each and a one-week interval in between treatments. Treatments were randomized resulting in the following order. One, active TDCS over M1, two, active TDCS over DLPFC, three, sham TDCS. For both M1 and DLPFC, we use the intensity of two milliampers. During sham TDCS treatment, the participant stayed for 20 minutes with electrodes in the same locations as in the active stimulation, uh, which was later turned off after 30 seconds. We used the following scales and questionnaires before and after intervention, timed up and go test, unified Parkinson's disease rating scale, Parkinson's disease outcome scale, motor function, Baird balance scale, state trade anxiety inventory, Pittsburgh sleep quality index, Parkinson's disease questionnaire, Beck depression inventory. After TDCS stimulation over M1, the patient showed an increase in motor control, a decrease in rest tremors, a broader range of motion in the upper limbs, hands, and fingers, and considerably, considerable improvement in control of pinch motion, motions. Also, patient presented worsening in quality of sleep and levels of anxiety. After active stimulation over DLPFC, the patient showed highest motor control improvement, balance and guide, and a reduction in symptoms associated with PD. Although we did not come to conclusive findings in relation to the patient's anxiety levels, DLPFC stimulation showed the best results, demonstrating improvement in quality of sleep and also substantial motor improvement. CHAM intervention demonstrated worsening in the patient's condition. While not definitive, our findings imply that active M1 and DLPFC stimulation may help with Parkinsonian symptoms such as resting tremor, loss of motor control, and balance. In this study, DLPFC stimulation showed the highest results in terms of motor control, balance, guide, and overall PD symptoms. Additionally, improved sleep quality was observed. Suggesting that active stimulation over DLPFC has better results than stimulation over M1 and sham TDCS. We understand the limitation of this study and we wish that further investigation with long lasting effects and including larger sample sizes might better explore the present study results. Thank you.